in this video i'm going to show you five best math websites for middle school and this is because these websites are most beneficial for middle school students and teachers the middle school period from grade 6 to grade 8 is very critical for any student these are the three years in which students develop math concepts and as a math teacher it is your responsibility to help your students transform their lives and you can use these five websites in different ways to get some inspiration get thousands of ideas for creating high quality math content such as workbooks worksheets lesson plans teacher presentations practice questions and answers and on one of these websites you can even sell your lesson plans and teacher presentations to get some extra income now I'm going to give you a brief overview of these five websites, how to use them and I will highlight some of their features and how I use them. But I have detailed videos about three of these websites on my channel and I will put the links to those videos in the description of this video which you can watch later on. And one interesting thing I would be showing you is how much traffic these websites are getting. That will give you an idea of how big are these math websites. So let's get started after a short intro. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos for educational technology tools for teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. And now I will jump on my computer and I will show you these five best math websites. Now the first website is desmos.com and I have created an account with them and I am logged into my account. On this website, you can create classes, you can create math activities and send to your students. If you are using Google Classroom, you can send them to Google Classroom. And there is a large collection of math activities available on this website. Desmos.com also has some calculators where you can plot the graphs of math functions to elaborate the concepts. And if you scroll to the bottom, you will see these applications. And at the top, if I click on these math tools, these are some of their applications which are also available for Apple and Android phones. So your students can install these, for example, graphing calculator on their mobile phone and they can plot functions. So let us click on graphing calculator and here you can plot math functions, for example, let us type x square and the graph of x square will be plotted. And also on the left hand side, if you click on these three dots, there are many graphs available for you. For example, if I click on this line slope intercept form, I can open this graph and then I can explain concepts and it can save you a lot of time because there is a long list of these graphs as you can see ready made for you. The second thing I would like to show about this website is this featured collections. If I click on that and no, if I click on this little arrow and on the left hand side, I have a long list of collections available. So let us say I click on this middle school geometry and let's see what we have here. There are these collections and the way these works is that you click on any of these. Let's say you click on this laser challenge. And now you have various activities. At the top, you can see that which device students can use to do this activity. For example, they can use laptop here, but for some activities, they can use the tablet and the phones as well. And if you scroll down, you can assign these activities to your students. And if you click on these three dots, you can share the activity or you can copy and edit. So let's say I share this, I will get this link and I can send this to my students. Now let's see what type of activity is this. So I click on this and this is the activity in which students have to pass this laser through these targets. So they have two variables. They can change the angle of the laser and they can change the angle of the mirror. And for teachers, there is a clue here. If you click here and you can see that if I change this laser angle from 45 to 90, the laser will actually pass through these targets as you can see and then they can move to the next screen and now this is their laser this is their mirror they can put 
both angles this is what students will see they will play with these angles and if i click on sample responses i can see that if i set this angle to 30 and this angle to 90 the laser will actually pass through these points so this type of activities you can perform on desmos which will clear the concepts of your students and now let us see how much traffic this math website is getting every month so i am on this similar web website and if i scroll down and now i can see that in the month of august 2021 this math website got 13.49 million visitors now the second website is geogebra.org geo for geometry and Jebra for algebra this is similar to desmos where you have these applications if you click on these nine dots you will see their applications and there are a lot of tools available in GeoGebra and this website is free for your personal use the most popular application is GeoGebra classic and I am creating a series of videos on GeoGebra I have created two videos and there will be more videos coming in next few months I have a video for graphing calculator as well but in this video I will show you their 3d calculator so I click on that and I will get this 3d space as you can see that as you can see that this coordinate system is a 3d coordinate system x y and z axis and if I write any equation for example x square plus y square it will create a 3d graph of this equation and as you can see that it has automatically assigned this as a function of x and y which is fantastic you can quickly create 3d graphs and show to your students clear their concepts and if you scroll down just like desmos you have these featured resources and if you click on show all there is a long list of resources available for you you can use these resources in your class lessons you can modify them but you should give credit to the original creator of these resources but you have a huge number of math resources available and now let us see GeoGebra visitors for the same month of August this math website got 9.31 million visitors and now the third website is teacherspayteachers.com this is a website where you can sell your lesson plans your presentations math activities math workbooks in the form of PDF and there are hundreds of different types of math resources which you can sell on this website in advanced countries like US Australia teachers have funding to purchase these resources for their schools and teachers are creating resources and teachers are purchasing these resources so therefore the website is teachers pay teachers and I have made a separate video for this where I showed you teachers pay teachers and Kindle direct publishing where you can sell your educational resources but it is very easy to sell on teachers pay teachers because their system is very simple and to get an idea of what other teachers are doing what you can do is you can get some free resources because every teacher has to submit the first resource as a free resource so to search for any resources what you do is you select a grade let's say I select this eighth grade and now all eighth grade resources will be shown and then I scroll down and in the prices section on the left if I select this free then the website will show me all the free resources because there are thousands of free resources available so what you can do is you can click on this you can download this PDF or zip file some are PDFs, some are zip files and you can get an idea of what other teachers are doing then you create similar resources by using two websites which I am going to show you next because those are the websites that you can use to create these resources and then simply you upload your PDF create a simple terms of use page by looking some examples to protect your copyright and then you upload as a PDF or zip file and as an experiment I have uploaded few resources on this website which I have been able to sell successfully so I have tested this website they actually pay you 
and I am making this video after my first payment. And now let's have a look at teachers paid teachers traffic data. And last month this website got 25.28 million visitors. And now at number 4 is canva.com. This is the website where you create educational resources. As you can see that I have created few resources for TPT and let me show you one example here. So this is a simple slide on which I have few math expressions and students will have to join the like terms. Now this part is designed in Canva which is a graphic designing website and for designing these type of resources you don't need paid account. You can do this in free account. I have a paid account but the purpose of that is different. For these math resources as you can see that there is a simple background and then there are some math expressions which are not created in Canva. I create these math expressions in another website which I am going to show you next. So for math teachers, so for math teachers a free Canva account is enough for creating math resources, activity books, workbooks for TPT or for Amazon KDP. They have a large number of templates available as you can see and they are adding more features. Now they have added video editing as well. So if you have a YouTube channel you can create your videos not only for YouTube but for Instagram, for Pinterest, for TikTok and all these type of social media you can create educational videos or any other videos on Canva. So this is a fantastic website not specific to mathematics but for any graphic designing job. But because I am using this a lot so therefore I decided to mention this in this video. And now let us see how much canva.com got. This website is huge and during the last month it got 246 million users. Now the last math website which I am going to show you is codecogs.com and on this website the most useful thing is this equation editor. You can write math expressions and get high quality vector images, SVG files. And I got these math expressions from this website and as you can see that even if I zoom this to maximum size, the sharpness of the image is still there because these are vector images, SVG files, which you upload to Canva and then you put in your math activity workbooks. So these are very high quality images. So let me show you how you can get these. So if I click on equation editor, I will get this console. You have to type in LaTeX language. If you know LaTeX language, then you can blindly type. For example, x square plus y square. And in this area, you will see how the image will look like. And if you don't know LaTeX, I have a playlist of LaTeX tutorials on my channel which you can watch. And there is one 25 minute video about LaTeX equations. And that is the most comprehensive video on LaTeX equations on the internet. This is my challenge. And if you watch that 25 minute video on my channel, you will be expert in writing all types of LaTeX equations. Even if you are writing a research paper where there are some very complex and very long equations, you will learn everything if you watch that video. But anyway, once you have written the equation, you can check it here, it's okay. Then you click on export. And now this SVG is the format you have to select and then you click on download. And now it will download this SVG file. Then you simply upload to Canva and use it in your math resources. Very simple. So that is it. And now codecogs.com. This website got 395,000 visitors during the last month. So this can give you an estimate and a comparison of these math websites. That is it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.